What is going on, guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing, guys? Let's get into the news. First story of the day is we actually have some real benchmarks of the Snapdragon 845 versus the Snapdragon 835 sitting in a Pixel 2, a Galaxy S8, and some other phones as well. So let's take a look first at the single core scores here. You'll see that the Snapdragon 845 got a score of 2450. Second place was 1980 with the OnePlus 5T. So you're getting a quite sizable difference right there with that single core score. And then when you look at the multi-core score, Snapdragon 845 got a score of 8,109. And in second place, again, OnePlus 5T with a score of 6,795. So again, a pretty big bump from the Snapdragon 835. Now, day-to-day -day usage is already pretty good on most Android phones. It was actually really good on the Galaxy Note 8. Could it have been improved? Definitely. Any phone could, you know, improve with day-to-day -day usage with a processor and RAM and Snapdragon 845 adding more to that is definitely the right way to go. Next up Verizon is sim locking their phones. Now this is a pretty big deal because they bought some spectrum off the government that they use for their LTE then they signed a deal signed a deal with the government saying that they would not you know sim lock their phones and it looks like they're breaking that rule. I don't know how they're breaking it, but they're breaking that rule saying that they will be SIM locking their phones as they ship. They said they're doing this so that it deters criminals from stealing their phones and using them on other networks. Now, what makes this also kind of interesting is as right now, if you buy a Verizon phone and right when you stick your SIM card in there, it'll actually unlock the phone and allow you to use it on any network. But what's gonna happen is in the spring, this is going to change and Verizon doesn't let anyone know how long the phone will be SIM locked so that you can use it on another carrier, have it be AT&T, you know, uh, Sprint or T-Mobile. This is kind of a big deal. They're actually breaking a government rule. We'll definitely keep our eye on this one. So if you're on Verizon and, you know, and it comes spring in a few months here uh, and you're looking to bring your phone to another carrier, you might be SOL with this, uh, at least for a short period of time before you can get that phone working directly on another carrier. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. If you didn't know, it's supposed to have stereo speakers. Well, the latest rumor coming out of Samsung is that it will have Dolby surround sound stereo speakers. So you should have a very immersive sound if this rumor comes out to be true. Maybe some of the best speakers we've seen on a phone just yet, especially if they're gonna be Dolby and uh, surround sound at that. So this is kind of exciting. I really hope this comes true because if it does, it's just another check mark on what should be a really great phone. Of course, the design might not be that much different than the Galaxy S8 S8 Plus, but some of the differences like the camera and the faster processor, the increased RAM, increased storage, and now possibly definitely stereo speakers, but also Dolby surround sound stereo speakers. Pretty exciting if you ask me. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, new videos every single day. My deal of the day is on Amazon, guys. If you're looking to get a Fire TV, their Fire TV 4K stick is only $49.99. It's usually $69.99, $20 off today. I'll link it in the description down below. If you're looking to pick it up, do it today because it's a one day only deal. You can install Gears TV on there, which I rave about. I really like that service. You can install Set TV. You can install Kodi. You can install Terrarium. All that stuff is really easy to install on here and I've got videos on it on my channel. Just search, you know, Greggles TV, Terrarium or whatever you want and it'll come right up. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you, oh wait, question of the day. That's right, the question of the day is, are stereo speakers important to you or not? Let me know in the comments down below, especially surround sound ones. Hmm? See you down the road, peace.